Hi folks, it's Sofer here. We're only inside the box, and I've seen a lot of people ask how we made the moving platforms in the tutorial level 8. Remember in the tutorial level 8 you got to step onto these plates and then the floor appears for a couple of seconds and then moves away and it kind of moves like a, like a sliding floor. Alright, so it's nothing very complex, but here's how it works. We obviously have pressure plates. And the trick are actually that we use pistons. The pistons will pull back the floor and push it back in. We connect the pistons to an extender and then the extender goes to a bunch of the layers. The layers make basically a, a wave of triggers move down to activate all of them. Now normally when you step on a pressure plate and step off, you create a pulse that is about a second long or so. The extender will make it longer, and we can just automatically make it at least 3 seconds long by setting the extender to delay equals 3. Now we've made it 3 seconds long. Okay. The, the layers are all a second long. So what we're going to do is we're going to hook this all up. What we want to do is we want to hook both of these up to the extender. I'm just left clicking at this point. Left click, left click. And then we're just going to connect these all in series. This one to this one. This one to this one. And if you look closely in my chat, you'll see that started, completed, started, completing. And you hear by the sound that I get a click and a clack. Click and a clack. Okay. If I do it again, nothing wrong. It, it's just okay. If I do it wrong and I mess up, all you got to do is dig this block out, pick up an extender again, and place it with shift click just make sure I don't click anything else and then hook it back up click 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 if you don't know where you are if you mouse over on the connector tool if it says connector tool and nothing else it means you're not hooking it up you click the first node if you click the node once it will show you that you left click to connect it to something else. So if I click another node, I'll make it the connecting part. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook up all the pistons now. Very boring, haha. Uh -huh. And I'm connecting them across. Because there's really no need to use more the layers than needed. Doesn't really hurt really. They're really cheap. Most of the mech code is really cheap and efficient, so you don't need to be too worried about using 10 or 20 of them or so. Alright, now let's see what happens. Okay, there goes my wave. As you can see while I'm standing on here, I can just walk over and the wave will come off. Alright, let's go back to the start. Normal people will just go on. And there it goes off. Obviously, now it's very easy to build a wall on top here and a lava pit underneath or something like that. So you can hook everything up. Um, you want to make it lay a little bit shorter, you set it to two. Slightly more difficult. even go to one. And then you got a three a three block bridge. So people really have to run across. Alright, and that's how to make a uh, moving floor in inside the box. Thanks for watching. See you later. Hi guys this is Sofer here with part two of uh how to create a moving floor. This time I'm going to be using node creators instead of instead of pistons to go and move the block. This will uh, look slightly different, but it still uses some of the same concepts as we used before. So what have we got now? We've got instead of pistons we will be creating nodes here on the fly and destroying them as we need fit. To do the timing we get the same battery of delayers over here and we've got two sets now instead of one. Okay, so we have a set of node creators here on the inside. 
and one on the outset. And I'm just going to go and tell you how they were set up and what they're going to do by putting the last two bits in place here. So first things first, what we're going to do is we're going to get a um, we're going to get the node that we want to create and destroy. All right, and just put one down, and then we're going to take our node creator and we're going to punch it. And now you'll see in the chat log that it says that to create a node, we'll place the node's marble. Right, so this one and this one and this one. If I trigger any of these, yeah, let's go and do this quickly by grabbing a, um, let's just grab a button, putting a button down, hooking up this button to this one. And we punch it. There you go, we got three marble nodes, okay? So I've picked up an a marble node and put them inside this node creator and if you put them down it doesn't matter what you do if you rotate them they create a marble node on the side where the little notches okay okay good so let's take this one that creates a node marble and stick it over here and rotate it in place so that it puts it in the right spot I need to quickly go and look from this side so I can see it Excellent. Okay. Now, if I don't pick up any node and I grab a new node creator, it will make error. And I've just got one right here. Okay. So take a new one out. It will create error. Creating error is the same thing as destroying it. Let's put this over here. Let's rotate it the same way. Uh, probably one more time. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Good. Okay. Now we're going to hook these guys up. And what I've done is I've actually made this one go to this one and this one will go to the destroyer okay since I already stepped on it you can immediately see the effect nodes get created and they get destroyed ah, I made a mistake here what was my mistake yes I know what my mistake was okay one more thing Node creators have a default distance of zero. That means the adjacent block will get created. So my mistake was that, that I didn't tune the distance for this one properly, because this one needs to have distance one. And it broke the one over here. So I just need to put this one back here. Uh, I can just go and delete this one for a second. Rotate this one back in place. And since I broke it, I gotta go and hook it back up. Put this one. Okay, that should do it. Is it the right way? Good. Okay. All right. So to double check, you can just punch them and say, okay, distance is one. No, that's not good. It needs to be zero. Right clicking means up and down. So I can go to three, down, not to zero. Okay. Putting them all in zero. Good. Are these all one? Yes, they're all one. Okay, good. So if you punch them, it will just show you what the next value is and you can just flip them back. All right, so let's give this a look. Excellent. Okay. There's a one more way that is even slightly more efficient. We don't actually need to use node creators because there is another tactic. I'm just going to grab the remove tool and get rid of all the air placing, air placing node creators because we don't need them. We can do without. What we're going to do is we're going to go and put some temporary nodes over here hook these nodes that are not mech nodes up to the actual delayers at the end. I'm going to carefully do that, make sure, okay, I've got nothing in here. I'm going to right click and then left click. So now I've got these two both hooked up to this one. Left click, right click, left click, left click, right click, left click, right, nope, left click, right click, left click. Left click, right click, left click. All right. Okay. So what's what's going to happen now? The first time that I step on here, these node creators will create a marble node, and then they will get taken away. Or we can just play cleanup. I'll leave it the way that we wanted it to end. Now you said I've hooked up nodes. You see, I've hooked up nodes to those delayers that are no longer there. But these delayers, they don't care. If a node appears in this spot, they will happily go and break it. Okay, did you spot the difference? 
What happens now is when we're breaking these nodes, first of all, this clearly visible is particles of nodes breaking. The other thing that you're hearing is that now that the nodes are being broken, they are making the sound of nodes that are actually getting broken. So if you use mech to break a node directly, you will get sounds and effects. If you use a node creator to place air over a node, it gets overwritten. This is handy because you could, for instance, delete mech nodes that itself would do something if they would get triggered, like, well, the most important case is actually TNT. And so you can avoid that by using the air placing method. If you don't need it, just hook up node directly to the mech node and you will just erase it with a nice digging effect. There you go. Thank you guys and see you later.